So tonight's video is going to be short and sweet. Um, I'm going to do a walkabout on our new property, which is across from our old property. There's the greenhouse we did a tour on last night. Um, up there's the sun chokes. There's the compost, big, big compost pile. There's the, the big garden. We did a tour of that a couple times this year. So what I'm working on, um, which I started another video today, but it, I ain't got time to finish it, so I'm going to just do one quick. It's going to get dark on me. I got time to finish the work, but it's gonna get too dark to video anymore. So I'll probably video some more later. So what's gonna happen behind me is there's gonna be two rows of asparagus planted in here. So um, two rows, we're gonna use seeds that we harvested from our plants. Um, sorry for jerking the camera. I'm very sorry, because that drives me crazy when I watch a video and it's jerked around like that and you spin too fast. It drives me insane, makes me about half weird feeling. Um, so that's one project coming up. And then beside of it, I'm gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put another row, another row here with some room for probably one, maybe two widths of a push mower between and then do another row of uh, asparagus, which will be two rows in it. This row here is like three and a half foot wide. So there's room for two rows in there. I'd like to get out about uh, two, between two and 300 plants this year, um, which they won't be ready to harvest for probably, they won't be ready to harvest for three to four years before they're ready to harvest. And they should come up in the spring from seed. So um, I'm, gonna put a, I'm gonna put rhubarb in somewhere. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it on here or if I'm gonna put it, I may put it over in there somewhere. And we'll put over some fruit trees over in there and some berry bushes for sure. Um, I got a bunch of Egyptian walking onions that I want to bring down here. They're going to come down here. Um, they're actually going to be in this mound. What this mound is, is, is uh, when I bought this property late spring, which was really late, which we got a pretty good harvest out of the garden that we put in there. But when I put this, I peeled this, I got, I rented a sod cutter and I cut it all the sod out of it all that um and i just rolled it down and threw it there so in this evening i mowed i mowed this area here where the compost pile and the cardboard is i mowed it down real low and i put all the uh i put all the clippings right there in a the pile so that's where that is um there's a watermelon i need to get it harvested there's one there it's actually a pretty nice watermelon um I got some Egyptian walking onions that I'm going to start growing. I'm not sure. I'll probably put them down here somewhere. And I got rhubarb. I might put that rhubarb down here too. It's going to be, the rhubarb will be from seed. I have some plants, but I got a lot of seed. Um, so that's the main thing we're going to work on this, this fall, winter, early spring. I got a bunch of Tahitian squashes and stuff in there that hasn't, isn't ready to harvest yet. And I threw a bunch of wildflower seeds as you can see there's a bunch of there's a bunch of uh um wild carrots and a bunch of other stuff in there growing there's wild carrots there's uh black eyed susans and there's a uh mallow plant in there uh you can't quite see it let me get a little closer you can like, see it if i get a little closer <clears throat> right there the purple flowers Zoom, sorry. Just trying to zoom and can't. The purple flower right there is mallow, and actually you can make marshmallows out of the roots of that plant. I don't know exactly how to yet, but I'm gonna to try to figure it out this winter. That's one project I'd like to learn how to do. Um, because we have mallow grows pretty regular around here actually. Um so yeah, and um this new piece of property we bought. Sorry for walking around and getting clumsy with the camera. I do apologize. The new property we bought runs all the way back to, if you can see that right there, was was a cornfield. There's a blue thing right there is a Duncan booth. That's almost to our corner. Our corner's up this way, 15 feet from there. It's not a whole lot of property. Three quarters of an acre is what it is. And uh, But yeah, so I plan to put a bunch of fruit trees in this winter fall winter spring um 
yeah so that's the plan and i'd like to make the garden maybe bigger i'm not sure if i'll make it any it won't be no wider maybe longer in this area i'm not real sure on that too but i want to put a bunch of corn in and um cherry tomatoes and corn long-term plants will be what's down here i'm not going to worry the short the short crop flip-flop plants will be in the main garden up there um it's not real far apart um actually it's not real far apart um there's some more watermelon there's a there's a watermelon right there right there there's a couple watermelon there's one there there's a couple here there's one up there's another one right whoops sorry right there and you can see the all the wildflowers in there the bees go, go crazy for them they're loving them this time of year had a bunch of seeds i just threw them out didn't have no use for them um so this mat this weed fabric that's down i'll i'll uh i'll cut it up i'll take it off so i can put some compost down and i'll fork it in with a with a uh a fork a um probably a pitchfork i have a i have a uh, broad fork but i like the pitchfork better um the other night i just made a quick compost a couple of compost bins out of pallets if you can see i'm one pallet short but that's the uh right there's the tomatoes and a bunch of other stuff that was in here this year that was left over so there they are they'll rot up i'm not worried too much about them um I did take the fence out right here so I can walk in. So right here, I'll probably, I'll probably cut this right here on that line right there. And then I'll put cherry tomatoes in these two rows of holes, that row and that row. There'll be cherry tomatoes this, this spring coming. Um, there's a bunch of weeds growing up through them holes, but that's the only weeds that I'll have is the weeds that's growing up through the holes that I'd burn in the fabric, so. Um, so that's pretty much what's going on. Um, I do want to start a, uh, probably within the next two years, I'm going to have a U-Pick raspberry patch. Uh, it'll be, it'll be over, over there by the mini barn, over in that area somewhere. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm going to plant a bunch of raspberries this fall, winter, whatever, whenever I get to it. Um. So that, that's the projects, and I'll fo you'll follow along as I'm going through them. Um, I won't let you out of it. I'm uh, trying to get a video out every day, at least for the next two weeks, to see see if my base picks up any. Um, don't know that I'll keep that up, but I'd like to do it for two weeks. Tonight's the fourth night, so we'll see how it works out. Um, anybody has any comments or questions? Want to give me heck for making them dizzy feeling with this video walking around holding the camera up that's fine i take your criticism it doesn't bother me a whole lot um so until we meet again take care and god bless